In this video, I'll be showing you how to add repositories, or PPAs, which are personal package archives, into Ubuntu 12.04. So a repository will give you additional software, or more up-to-date software, than the claim included in Ubuntu 12.04 by default. So a lot of the times you'll see the terminal method, which is we'll see the add apt repository, apt get update, and apt get install. But not everyone likes using the terminal method, so in this video I'll be showing you the GUI, or graphical method, of doing that. So what we need to do is open up the Ubuntu Software Center, and go up to the menu at the top, click Edit, and Software Sources, go across to Other Software, and click Add. So it asks for the apt line. Now what it's after is something that looks like PPA colon name forward slash PPA or forward slash the application. So in some of my videos I'll just give you a note of that. So take a note of that PPA, come across this video and add it into there. But I'll be using this one here for SNES9X. So there you are, it's PPA bearer so forward slash PPA. So I copied that and paste it into there. So you need to pop in your administrator password. And let's scroll down to it, and you can see it there. So one of the repositories you get is the source code, and then the blank one, which is the application. Now, I don't really need the source code, so I'm going to keep my list a bit shorter and just remove that. And as you'll see there, I've added quite a few, so I'm going to go and edit that, and make it be easier to remember. So I'll put a comment, and just call it SNES9X. I think just call it the name of the program you're adding. So I Close that. Now we need to wait for it to appear in the Ubuntu Software Center. And the problem is it doesn't always update particularly quickly. You might be able to bump it along if you go up to the system menu on the top right hand side, click on the updates available or the system updater, and click on check. If one of the repositories you've added is an application update, this is where you need to come to to install the updates. So Ubuntu will recognise that and suggest that particular application needs updating. Now mine was going to be a new application, so it says there are no updates to install. So we come back to Ubuntu Software Center, click on that little drop down next to all software, you get a list of all the repositories. So that's the one I've added, and I know that just because I knew the name of the guy who made that repository. If you don't know which one it is, we've got too many there, you can pop in the name of the application. But sometimes it takes it a while to refresh the package list in the software center. There's an alternative program you can add repositories with, but then that sort of complicates things, and if this is only going to be a one-off thing for you, then you don't really need to do it. Just give it a few minutes, it'll sort itself out. Yeah, you could use Synaptic Package Manager instead, and there's a button in there, you just click, and it reloads the package list for you. But this method, yeah, we've got no control over it, which is a bit annoying. So to push it along a bit, I've actually closed the Ubuntu Software Center. So I'll go back and reopen it. And I know it has finally updated itself. So if things don't appear there straight away, just give them a little while and it will refresh. So now you go, if I click on it now, I've got the install button. Popped in the administrator password, and there you go, now it's installing. So that is the GUI method of adding a repository into Ubuntu 12.04. So thanks for watching, see you later.